Hi there, here's the new Arcos 7 Flash Home Tablet. Um, Arcos see this product as an Android based um, multimedia player that allows you to bridge the gap between the smartphone and the desktop PC. Um, the idea being that you can always access the web, customize through Android apps, view your multimedia content and all obviously using this quite nice looking large screen here. Um, don't view it as an alternative to the iPad, it really isn't. Um, it's far too slow, it's quite buggy in spots. Um, but if you're looking at it for viewing films, then you know it's actually pretty good. Um, personally, I wouldn't use the browser function on it at all. Um, I've just spent a fair bit of time trying to download some apps from the apps library. Um, it's not a slick <laughs> procedure. There's nothing like as good as Apple's, obviously, with iTunes. But as you should be able to see from uh, the camera here, the screen's pretty good. Um, we look at Austin Powers here, give you an idea how, uh, how slick it looks. So yeah, if you want to travel with it, great. If you want it to be a budget iPad, um, personally, I haven't got the patience for its browsing. Um, I haven't really got the patience for its interfaces either. But uh, it's something to travel with, given its price. It's fantastic. Anyway, if anyone's got any uh, more uh, questions on it, please feel free just to uh, post up a comment. I'll try and get back to them as quickly as we can. Um, you can obviously watch your movies now in high def 720p. Um, and you can do emails on it as well. But to be honest, I don't think the interface is really up to it. Um, it's just far too slow for me. And I really, I suppose, in all honesty, I've got an iPad. Um, I don't really have the patience for this after using that. Um, but, you know, you can do your social networking, you can do your emails, and you do have uh, access to um, Google's apps, but it's far from a slick process. Um, I think they should really just leave it to uh, what they do best and, you know, have it as another option for uh, people who want to travel, watch movies and stuff while doing so. And also, the music player is actually really good on it. Anyway, hope that uh, gives you a little insight into it. Um, apologies for uh, not doing it in a bit more depth like we normally do in the Amp3 reports, but this one's just a quick look at the player. Um, browser here, I'll just quickly do before we call it a day. You can see here, it's not hugely slow, but it's not massively quick either. Um, you know, if we pull up the news here, see how long it takes it to load. So. This is it going off our Wi-Fi connection in the office. Um, so it's not uh, it's not tragic, but it's it's far from quick. Um, you can see it's starting to load up a wee bit quicker now. But again, you know, it's not as quick as your laptop. It's not certainly not as quick as an iPad. Um, and I don't know personally whether I bother using one outside of traveling with it. Um, the screen, as you can see. It takes a wee bit, it's almost like a delayed response moving it about. Um, I don't know if I'm just being a bit fussy because, you know, I'm used to my iPhone and my iPad. But it's just not as slick. But it's not horrendous, you got a little zoom in function there as well. So if you're a bit struggling a bit to see what the text says, you can quite easily just hit and it will zoom in for you. So that's quite a nice feature. Anyway. Hope that uh, gives you some insight into the Arco 7. As I say, if you've got any more questions on it, please just let us know. Cheers, bye.